So in this video, I'll show you how to change the symbols that ArcMap uses for your uh, co measured coordinates. Now we have bright green dots, or you might have some other color. And if you want to change that, we can double click this, or we can right click it and go to properties. And that will get, get us to the properties of the layer. This takes a while. And now we're in general. And in this case, I want to go to the symbology tab from the properties menu. Now currently it's using a single symbol. So every, every marker gets exactly the same symbol. And we can change the symbol. We can just uh, browse all these things. We have green dots, green circles, stars, crosses. We have airports, uh, road signs. We can, well, lots of options are there already. Um, so let's change our symbol to a star. And let's change this weird green color into into red. That's nice. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Just by changing the size. Let's click OK. Let's click OK. And now we've changed our markers into stars. So um, that's yeah, just a cosmetic change. It just depends on what you prefer. Let's go back and actually start visualizing our data using the Symbology tab. So back to the settings menu, and there, there we are. And let's just change this back to a circle, simple circle, a bit bigger, because and there, there's, there's, there's different options for your Symbology. We just looked at a single symbol. There's a category, so if you classified your uh, your noise measurement into high, low, medium, then you'd use categories. Or if you'd recorded data on features, if you'd recorded, for example, uh, hospitals or air reports. Um, in this case, we have, we've got qualitative data. We've got noise measurements. And so we want to go for quantities. Um, there's three options there. We can use graduated colors. Um, so change the color of the symbol. It can change the symbol or proportional symbols. So let's look at uh, graduated colors. So my, my brain finds it easiest to interpret the uh, color scale. So let's first check a choose a field. So let's choose the noise field. And let's choose a nice color ramp. And I think this, this option, so blue for low values and red for high values seems quite intuitive. Um, and now it's using five classes. I can make it a little bit more. I can make it 10 classes. So we'll get a little bit more detail in there. It doesn't have to be five classes is often enough. But now any value uh, for 48.9 or less will be this teal color. Um, any value of, of, of high values and high reds. And you've got yellow points in between. So if you now click OK, Excel has applied this color scale to the measurement. So this is probably a high value. This is probably a low uh, noise value. So let's look at our, let's include our base map again. And now we see that our, our red values, they are near this road, which is a rather busy road. And we can get more red points near this road, which is a busy road and mostly blue and green. So low noise measurements near these uh, roads on the university campus, which are, are much more quiet than these ones. So our data really, really corresponds with, with our ID about noise that you would have in this area. So that's good news.